Hey guys, welcome to another video. I hope you're doing really well. I'm Sam and today I'm going to be talking about some of my favourite current citrusy fragrances. Working from home at the moment, I'm finding citruses are kind of my go-to. Uh, they're very easy to wear, um, refreshing, invigorating um, and are just lovely to wear throughout the day. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be talking about a few of my current favourites at the moment. So I'm going to kick off with probably my all-time favourite citrus fragrance. So this is Carven L'Eau de Toilette and I feel that the House of Carven is very underrated and um, not spoken about very often. I absolutely love the house and this is one of my all-time favourite fragrances. Um, it's extremely elegant, it's very, very feminine and uh, I'll just tell you some of the notes in here. So it's Italian lemon, peony, sweet pea, freesia and jasmine. So it's quite a soft kind of soapy uh, white floral um, citrusy fragrance um, it's also got ylang ylang hyacinth and musk um, and yeah I just find it's just an amazing fragrance it's very classy very elegant very fresh perfect for the summer I just adore the bottle and I have spoken about this fragrance quite a lot of times on my channel because I think every woman should experience it and should have the opportunity to enjoy it. So it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. So this is Carven Eau de Toilette. If I move over to Miller Harris, um, now Lumiere de Ray, you can see there's absolutely nothing left. I've thoroughly enjoyed wearing this fragrance. I just had a sample, quite a nice size sample though. It's lasted me for a long time. And uh, this is a very, very beautiful citrusy, again, a white floral. So it's jasmine, it's got the bergamot, orange it's very kind of clean laundry powder clean musks it's got vanilla in there soft amber um it's extremely beautiful it's extremely wearable it's very very fresh and zingy and invigorating um apologies for the camera there i'm a bit amateur at this <laughs> but um yeah it's a really really beautiful fragrance just see if I can make that clearer. There we go. <laughs> okay, so that's Lumiere de Ray. Now, a Tui Noir, this actually came in kind of like a sample pack. So I'm cheating a little bit here with this. It does have a bergamot and tangerine. It's got a very kind of citrusy opening, but this one's actually more of a leathery type of fragrance. It's quite sexy, smoky, leathery once that citrus top wears off. It's a very, very unique fragrance. And again, one that I've never heard of and didn't hear a lot about. Um, it has rave reviews online if you do look into it and I can see why. Again, I've thoroughly enjoyed wearing it. Um, I would certainly want to um, repurchase a full bottle um, of both of these. I particularly like this one just because it's a little bit fresher, a little bit more uh, for daytime. Um, but again, this one is also very, very beautiful. I've seen some women say it's quite a dark kind of exquisite fragrance. There's iris in there. And some women are saying they get an oud kind of vibe with it. Um, yeah, it has excellent reviews. Very underrated again and very unique. So those are two more that I've been enjoying. 
Moving over here to this sample, I did a recent video on Goldfield and Banks. I have a full sample set of all of their fragrances. Now this one has just absolutely blown me away. It is the most beautiful fragrance that I've smelt for a long, long time. It's marketed as unisex. I'd say it's definitely male, um, more leaning towards the male. It's absolutely tremendously gorgeous <laughs> it's really beautiful 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 so my husband smelt it he absolutely loves it he wants a bottle of it immediately and my husband's very hard to please he's very choosy with fragrances um, he's got good very good taste in fragrances and um, this one immediately he was like wow that is the best fragrance I've smelled in a long long time so this one um, has got Australian finger lime in it from Byron Bay in New South Wales I don't know if this is a particularly special kind of lime <laughs> that it smells so absolutely beautiful and amazing um, it's coriander, vetiver, sandalwood and cedarwood. Um, it's just got just a lovely kind of citrusy, fresh but woody vibe going on. It's very, very sexy. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I've looked up the price. It's very expensive, <laughs> of course. So it's like $230 a bottle. So my husband might have to wait a while for this full bottle. I'll give him the sample to be going on with, but I'd highly recommend a smell of that one. Um, so that is Bohemian Lime by Goldfield and Banks. Okay, moving on. So Bois... What? And I can't pronounce this and I'm going to make myself look silly. Uh, <laughs> Bois de Hadrian. So um, a Goutel fragrance. Now, I know that this is um, kind of not a flanker, but it's following on from Eau de Hadrian, which I believe is a very citrusy scent. But I've never smelled that one, actually. And um, this one is very unusual. It's very woody aromatic again it's a unisex fragrance I've enjoyed wearing it um, I prefer to smell it on my husband I do think it leans more towards the masculine um, but it's got this very kind of along with the citrusy it smells very very lemony but it's actually lime um, it's got fir, ivy and pine along with the lime, which does kind of give it this kind of woodsy, sort of like a coniferous sort of wood feel with like a kind of, it's got like almost a historic kind of like a temple or some sort of a historical place mixed in with it. It's very, very uh, kind of... It's like a kind of, I can't, I don't know the word I'd use to describe it, like a sort of, it's got a force with it, like of history almost. It's it's very interesting. And I think that the original Eau de Hadrian has something to do with a book, which I must look further into because it sounds intriguing. But I'm definitely getting this kind of, um, it's just like a, a really big force to this fragrance that's got kind of like a layer of history to it. It just takes me kind of back in time. Um, it's it's beautiful. I really enjoyed it and have loved wearing it, especially while I've been working at home. It's definitely very, very citrusy and very you get a very lemony kind of vibe to it, but with something deeper in there as well, which makes it very unique. So it's definitely worth checking out. I don't know if um, it's actually got a picture of anything on here. It hasn't. So this is just the tester that it came with. So that's Bois de Hadrian, another one that I'm really enjoying at the moment. So over here, um, friends, this is a tried and tested favourite of my husband's. This is a beautiful blood orange, uh, green, mandarin, bergamot, 
very citrusy, aromatic. This is a very fun, um, happy, casual, beautiful fragrance. Um, it was in a video I did a long time ago on my husband's top 10 favourite sexy scents. And um, yeah, it's just a very sophisticated, maybe you'd say quite a youthful sort of fragrance. It's just a perfect casual fragrance and uh, always really enjoy it. It will always get a mention. I like to give it some love. <laughs> I just said to my husband, let's get it out the wardrobe and share it tonight. Give it a little bit of love with maybe a few people who might be watching um, because it's just a classic. And again, one I think that is underrated. Not many people talk about it. Um, it's a great one. So that's Friends by Machino. So also recently, I've been trialling out Parterre Run of the River. This is beautiful. This is a really beautiful fragrance. Um, it's extremely citrusy. It's bergamot again, mint. It has violet leaf, orange blossom, lemon, thyme, incense and oak moss. And this has been really cheering me up over the past week you know, tired in the morning and just another day of working from home. And it's very zingy, very uplifting, very, very refreshing. Um, it's beautiful and just has a lovely, is it salar, silage, that word? <laughs> the kind of aura it gives around you, it's very, very nice. And you just keep kind of walking into it. And it's, it's beautiful. It's a very, very nice fragrance. And again, one I'd not really heard a lot about. It's by Partier. Um, never really heard of any of their fragrances. I love the name, The Run of the River. And I believe these are in English... Dorset based company I think I need to do a bit more research but um, it's a little taste of home for me being a long way away from England so I've enjoyed that link as well to England so that's another fragrance there so another fragrance here that I thoroughly enjoyed wearing and one which again I've finished completely the sample this is called Laconia by Tom Daxon now this one again has violet leaf in it it's lemon mandarin orange bergamot it's aquatic greens it's got cardamom in there and apparently the perfumer was inspired for this fragrance by holidays to Greece so I'm pretty sold on that because Greece is one of my favourite countries to visit and I've visited the majority of the Greek islands and absolutely have the most amazing memories of Greece and holidays there. And I think he's certainly captured that vibrant sea breeze holiday vibe of Greece. And yeah, it's a beautiful fragrance. I, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. So it says here, a vibrant sea breeze, and there are the notes. So that's a lovely one. And again, quite unique. I don't think a lot of people talk about Tom Daxham that I'm, I know about. So I'm pleased to be talking about that one. Um, I'd like to just give an honourable mention. It's all looking a bit messy now. <laughs> but to... Um, Burberry Sport uh, Women, which is one of my all-time favourite citrus scents. And unfortunately, the bottle didn't make it from the UK over to Australia. Um, <laughs> the transport of fragrances across the world is a whole other video. But uh, there's quite a lot involved in bringing fragrance 
um, into a new country. That one unfortunately didn't make the um, the cut, so I had to leave that one behind. But that is one of my all time favourite fragrances, and I'm looking to get a new bottle of that as soon as I can. Um, so if you haven't smelt that one, that's Burberry Sport Women, extremely wearable, beautiful day to day fragrance. Um, not mentioned a lot, but it's a gem. It's a really beautiful one very reasonably priced you can't go wrong so do check that one out so i hope you've enjoyed my video i'd love to hear from you if you've sampled any of these fragrances if you've enjoyed any of them please share below with others your favorite citrus fragrances that you're wearing at the moment and i hope you've enjoyed and thanks for joining me take care guys bye bye